In Malaysia, Zana is a Tsjikia recipient who is the refugee from Myanmar. After she was diagnosed with diabetes, her husband left her, leaving her to raise the kids on her own. Due to her illness, her life became difficult. Thanks to Tsjikia and Tima doctors' help, her living situation has now improved. My name is Zaina. I'm from Myanmar. Zaina and her family have lived in Malaysia for more than a decade. However, when Zaina developed diabetes, her husband left her, leaving her and the kids. I scavenged the trash full of recyclable items with my son. After selling it for money, we can buy something to eat and pay for the rent. She had a diabetic wound on her leg. I had two operations to cut off the toes. I didn't take care of it post-surgery. And now pus fills the wound. It stinks. Luckily enough, we have Tima joining us came in and then she literally cleaned the wound yeah, for hours sitting down there, cleaned the wound. The wound already a bit cleaner to compare with previous one. Also that time I already cut with the scissors, clean already death one. Yeah, if the dressing, the wound is not well managed, yeah, so it can inflame to other organs. I can't pay the rents right now and I haven't paid it for four months. The rent was paid by children in the previous two months. Uh, let's uh, give her the cash first now. She needs to lease uh, Amparatus in Ampulo. Okay. It's difficult to walk now. I can't work either. Now even two ringgits can buy fresh produce. My friends would bring some food here to cook for us. Zainat, she actually expressed also that she has a lot of uh, friends helping her and she's really grateful and she's, she's, she really loves them and she always thank God for it. Yeah? And, uh, and for that, I, I see that, that quite a change and really sparked me. Uh, I think that refugees, us, normal human beings, we're all the same deep down and uh, all capable of loving, capable of caring for other people as well. If we, if we don't do anything to them and then just let it all go, then, then that's it for the life of refugees. Uh, I say we can all make a change. advised us to buy a few uh, medicines uh, for the POC itself. So we went out to a nearby uh, pharmacy. Uh, what, what really touched me is that uh, when we left the uh, pharmacy and we look at the receipt, there's actually discount given it. You know, out there, outside there, actually, uh, they are quite uh, you know, willing to help, yeah, to you know, try to do a little bit small effort, yeah, just to help the refugees. Yeah. <laughs> It's great, the doctor is nice. She helped me clean the wound and it is recovering very well. Uh -huh.